The ancient humans had a thirst for mythological monsters. This obsession spread through the centuries and cultures and continues to the present day. However, many of the creatures were inspired not by the imagination, but by science and nature. It has been discovered that the sites of the ancient myths were often places where large numbers of fossils were discovered. In trying to make sense of what they were seeing, many myths were born. While some of us might look at these mythological beasts and shrug it off calling it all fake, there are still people out there who believe these ancient stories carry some truth. Welcome to Mind Read, where today we'll bring you a list of 10 mythological sea monsters spanning from almost every corner of the world. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time we make a new upload. So without further delay, let's get started. Number 10, Umabozu. The Umabozu is a sea-dwelling yokai from Japanese folklore. Its name is derived from the characters for sea and Buddhist monk, which also alludes to the spirit's possible origins. Supposedly, Umabozu are the vengeful spirits of priests who drowned at sea. Their appearance is that of a giant human head with a shriveled scalp and perpetual smile. According to legends, Umabozu capsize ships and drown seamen who insult or disrespect them. According to one story, if angered, they ask the crews to provide a barrel that it proceeds to fill with seawater and drown them. To avoid this disastrous fate, it's necessary to give the Umabozu a bottomless barrel. Of course, like with most legends, there is usually some kind of scientific or natural explanation behind it. In this case, it could be one of many oceanic phenomena, such as great ocean turtle shells or giant jellyfish rising from the water. But this too is just a theory. Number 9. Jormungandr In Norse mythology, Jormungandr is a sea serpent, the middle child of the giantist Angerboda and Loki. According to the legend, Odin took Loki's three children by Angerboda and tossed Jormungandr into the great ocean that encircles Midgard. The serpent grew so large that it was able to surround the earth and grab its own tail. Jormungandr harbors a strong hatred towards the Norse gods, principally Thor and Odin. He hates Thor the most, and both are destined to slay each other during Ragnarok, the end times according to Norse mythology. Fun fact, the appearance of this beast appears in other religions as well that predate Christianity. For example, Jormungand is already featured in the religion of the original Germanic tribes, so much so that continental Germans attributed earthquakes to his movements well into the Middle Ages. Number 8. Kappa the Kappa in Japanese folklore are a type of vampire-like creatures that are more intelligent than the devilish Oni and less malevolent towards men. They are depicted in legend as being about the size of a 10-year-old child, yellow-green in color and resembling monkeys, but with fish scales or tortoise shells instead of skin. On the top of their head, they have hollow indentations that are filled with water, and if the water is spilled, they are said to lose their supernatural powers. Legends of encounters with Kappa invariably include a reference to their capacity for keeping a promise, extracted from them after forcing their heads down or tricking them into bowing low, thus spilling out the water. They are said to have a taste for cucumbers, and a standard way of placating Kappa is to throw a cucumber into the water where they live. Number 7. Scylla In Greek mythology, Scylla was a sea monster who haunted the rocks of a narrow strait opposite the whirlpool of Charybdis. Ships who sailed too close to her rocks would lose six men to her ravenous darting heads. Historians describe Scylla as a creature with 12 dangling feet, six long necks, and grisly heads, lined up with a triple row of sharp teeth. In classical art, she was depicted as a fish-tailed sea goddess with a cluster of canine foreparts surrounding her waist. According to late classical writers, she was once a beautiful nymph, loved by the sea god Glaucus. But her jealous rival, the witch Circe, employed magic to transform her into a monster. Number 6. Charybdis Now, let's talk about Scylla's neighbor, Charybdis. Charybdis was a sea monster in Greek mythology, which dwelt in the Strait of Messina. The monster was later rationalized as a whirlpool. It's believed that Charybdis lived under a rock on one side of the strait. Opposite Charybdis, ancient Greeks believed there was our previous sea monster, Scylla, believed to live inside a rock. Since the passage between the two monsters was very narrow, sailors who tried to avoid one sea monster would unavoidably get pulled into the other. Charybdis swallowed large amounts of water and then would belch them out, creating large whirlpools that resulted in the destruction of passing ships. 
Number 5. Leviathan The tale of Leviathan has been a source of curiosity among many Christians and non-believers alike. Since the inception of the creature was expressed in the pages of the Bible, Leviathan is known to be a fearsome primordial being that ruled over all other creatures of the sea. The first appearance of this monster comes in Jewish scriptures, where a multi-headed sea serpent is killed by God and given as food to the Hebrews in the wilderness. The Leviathan is known to be an enormous sea monster that was one of Yahweh's original creations. There are many different theories about what inspired the tales of the Leviathan, but most are centered on the demonstrating of the almighty power of Yahweh. It's also possible that the Leviathan was adapted into Christian religion as a way of making it easier for people from other cultures to convert to Christianity. This is a popular theory because of ancient myths and legends from other cultures that predate Christianity and tell of a mighty sea serpent that's overcome by a benevolent, protective deity. This also causes some to wonder if the tale was inspired by a real creature that was interpreted differently in various religions and cultures. Number 4. Iku Terso From the Finnish mythology, we have the Iku Terso, a famous and fearsome creature appearing in the Kalevala. He and his brethren, called the Tursa, carry a lot of resemblance to the Kraken, or the Loch Ness Monster, and are said to have physical features of an octopus, sometimes even with dragon-like wings. This monster is such an integral part of Finnish mythology that there was a submarine by its name. And that's not all, it had its own video game characters, heavy metal bands, an asteroid, and even an ale brand named after him. Talk about celebrity status. We hope it doesn't emerge one day to claim royalties for the name usage. Number 3. Hydra In Greek mythology, the Hydra was a serpent-like monster with many heads. It's said that if you cut off one Hydra head, two more would grow back in its place. It's also said that the Hydra's teeth were able to raise skeletons from the dead. But don't worry, Hercules, or Heracles in Greek mythology, kills the Hydra as one of his labors. The monster also had one immortal head in the middle, and all of the heads could spit deadly acid. To defeat the Hydra, Hercules called on his nephew, Iolus, for help. As soon as Hercules cut off one head, Iolus would cauterize the wound with a flaming torch so that nothing could grow back to replace it. After removing the Hydra's immortal head, Hercules buried it under a large rock. And in later adventures, he dipped his arrows in the blood of the Hydra to kill other monsters. Number 2. Kraken According to Norse sagas, the Kraken dwells off the coast of Norway and Greenland and terrorizes nearby sailors. Authors over the years have postulated that the legend may have originated from sightings of giant squids that grow up to 40 to 50 feet in length. However, the kraken from mythology seems to be far larger than that. Its tentacles are large enough to be able to pull entire ships under the water and destroy cities with relative ease. In addition to its tentacles, it's also armed with a gaping maw full of many sharp teeth. Originally, kraken were considered to be similar to giant crustaceans or colossal whales. However, in later versions, the depictions changed to match those of a cephalopod, squids, or octopi. Before we reveal the top item on today's list, let's give a round of applause to Sasha Brown for sending us such an amazing image that we were able to use it as our thumbnail. The image is clearly photoshopped, but imagine if there were a giant turtle that was carrying this island for eons. Thanks for this concept, Sasha, and we hope to hear more from you soon. Number 1. Devil Whale The Devil Whale is a legendary, demonic, whale-like sea monster, or sea turtle in some legends. According to myths, this whale is of enormous size and could swallow entire ships. It also resembles an island when it's sleeping, and unsuspecting sailors put ashore on its back. When the sailors start a fire, the Devil Whale awakes and attacks the ship, dragging it to the bottom of the sea. In the 6th century AD, St. Brennan, an Irish cleric, and 18 other monks sailed from Ireland to cross the ocean. Amidst their journey, they came upon a black, treeless island and decided to make camp for the night. Several monks set up a cooking station and lit a fire. And then, the island began to move. Terrified, the monks fled back to their boat, leaving the food and fire behind. St. Brandon urged them not to be afraid. It was simply the great fish, Jasonius which laboreth night and day to put his tail in his mouth, but for his greatness, he may not. Thanks for joining us today at MindRead, and we hope to see you back here tomorrow for an all-new amazing video. 
And in the comments below, let us know what you thought of some of these monsters. Do you think any of them could really be out there?